I'm Ted, and I live at Humankind Studios. I've been in foster care since I was eight years old. And then when I got out of foster care, I became homeless. Been homeless since. My name is Kent Miracle, and I'm a former Humankind client. Uh, stayed in Wichita, got married, had two kids. At that point, though, alcoholism began to provide some uh, more challenging consequences and it was evident that I had to uh, get a divorce. So the things just kept getting worse. That's slowly but surely what led me to uh, no place to live. My name is Jamila, and I just moved in my apartment. I have two children, a girl and a boy. I come from uh, domestic violence. So I left Rockford to come here. And basically, it was starting over. I had nothing when I had I didn't even have a coat when I got here. All I had was a backpack and a suitcase. It was getting harder for me to be out there in the wintertime with my medical problems. I've had six total heart attacks. I stayed at the end for a couple of months. I was in the hospital and it was a Saturday and they were gonna release me. And uh, a guy pulled up and I knew who he was and he, and he says, I got a place. And we pulled up to Humankind and he walked in with me and he goes, I called, they've got a bed. Um, here's, here's the deal, here's your place. Another guy gave me a part-time job. It was such a gift to have a place to stay. I was actually at the winter shelter first and then um, 17 days after that, I ended up at Humankind Inn. They had a lot of resources. I'm just happy to just have this. Jerry told me I was moving in, was I was upstairs at the inn. When I go downstairs, he goes, let's go sign your lease. I was like, let's go. I even beat him out to the vehicle. I got to move in that exact same day because I haven't had a place since I was a kid that I could actually call mine. It was a bridge that they gave me and offered to me and said, here, use us to help in your this next phase of your journey. And here I am now, 15 years of sobriety from December 1st, 2008. Humankind helped me when I had no one else. They were there for me. If it wasn't for you guys, I'd probably be still stuck. Married to a beautiful, beautiful human being since 2014. I have a lovely wife and a, a gorgeous dog. I have two wonderful sons, 33 and 29, that um, don't care about those rough times. They just care that their dad's with them and in their life. I am blessed. Knowing that I'm getting ready to go in for triple bypass is scary. Humankind is making that possible. I know a lot of the staff have said that they want to know when I go in so they come see me. And that makes me feel good. What humankind does speaks to me because these are our neighbors. There's no doubt in my mind that humankind is helping. 